Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework. So we are going to install UAIS HUD V5 provided scripts by Zero Ransom Software. So first of all, we are going to thank WayIS Scripts for providing this opportunity to make the video on their hood system. So first of all, you need to select your framework as I am using QB Core. So for this, you need to click it add to cart button. As you can see, I have already added the item in the cart so you can see the prices. So first of all, thanks to WeiWeiIS Scripts for providing us the extra discount coupon for our customers. So after applying the coupon, you can proceed to checkout. Then after purchasing this, you will receive your script on your Keymaster ID over there. Here you can see you got two type of system. First of all, Waze compatibility for the HUD V5 and the main HUD V5 scripts, of course, escrow version. So first of all, you have to click on download and save it to your computer. Same goes to the other one, compatibility. So you can understand that it's a bridge system for this hood. So after downloading both of them, click on the file, then extract here both of the files after extracting them. Copy it and paste it to your main directory, as I am pasting it here. Then open the HUD v5 file, then click on README section. Here you can find the README documentation for WayS scripts. So as for now, I am closing it, then we will open it again. Here you can find the config Lua for this HUD. Just click on it and open it after opening it. You can see the framework integrations. So first of all, we need to fix this out. So we need to set it for QB Core. And I am using the QB Core version and same goes to the QB Core section. I am not using extended version. And if you are using new QB Core, then make it true. Or if you are using old one, then make it false, but make sure to use this to QB Core or if you have any doubt, then you can directly, you can follow the documentation here. You can see it's the integration for ESX. It's the integration for QB Core, where you can see, and it's the integration for QBox. You can use their shared event, also goes for that event, for, of course, the old ones. So if you are using new one, then the resource would be triggered via this. So make sure to use this. After that, you can select the clock type version. If you want to use the 24-hour pattern, then you can select it 24 hour. If you want a 12 hours, then you can select 12 hours. As I am using 12 hour system, and next you can see the map only in the car. If you are using this system, it will show the mini map when you are in car only. And after that is the postal map system. If you wanna use the postal map, it will make sure to use through it. And here is the stress system. Of course, I wanna use the stress system to make it true. And if you are using any default belt, if you are using any extended belt, using system to make it true. Also, so same goes to the key mapping. Also, if you want to disable the editor mode, you can directly disable it. Or also, you can double the setting menu by selecting the default integration for your HUD. Then we can go for the money setting. Most important thing. So, of course, I am using the OX version. So I need to use the money as an item. Then I am using the OX, of course. Make it true. That's it. And here is the blacklist categorization. If you want to do any type of blacklist for hoods or belt not work in this class, you can do it easily. As for now, I am removing this because if you are driving this car, it will not show any type of configuration. Also, you can add the bindings on the, on the hood easily. So then here is the weapon has with the images. So you can directly put it the has, and then you can add the level for the image. After that, you can close the configuration. Your configuration is done for the basic integrations. Then here you can go for the, and then public. Then you can find the weapons here. You can see all the weapons. If you are using any type of add-on weapon, you need to add the PNG over there. After adding, use that weapon with the images system and that's it. Your Waze Hood 5 is ready after that. Just restart your server and add it with the compatibility. You don't need to change in anything about this. It's a bridge system. Basically just copy it and paste it to your any designated area as I am using the job section. If you want to paste it over any area, you can paste it. So let's go in game and see this HUD. Hey guys here, you can see I am in game. So first of all, we need, we can see the HUD is properly working with zero issues. This would have been many type of configuration. So I'll show you that you need to press button after pasting it. You can see the all type of HUDs that now it's default is selected old. You can set it on new design. It will select it like that. It has total three type of HUD types and all the same goes to speedometers. It has also three types of speedometers. Also the sequence you can choose as I am selected to round. So I can choose it and same goes to the element. 
you can change the element color. If you want, also the MPH and HUD system can be configured. You can also enable the cinematic mode. So first of all, I will do the same configuration with the new. With the old one at the newest HUD, I'll show you the car HUD. Then as you can see, I'm spawning a car here. You can see after pressing your edge button, it will pop right here. You can also switch between them here. You can see it's the newest version, it's the oldest version, and it's the new version. Same goes to the hook type. It's the oldest version, it's the new version, and it's the newest version. As for I am configuring with old system with the new one, you can also change this if you want. It has many configuration types. Also, it has a special feature called editor mode. If you want to edit anything, you can directly do it from here. You can see, you can directly hide it or you can show it as you can see, I hide the system. Also, you can place it anything, anywhere you want. It is the main UI system. If you want to place it here or there, you can place it down. Oh, I'm sure it's a very interesting opportunity with the, with the street system. You can put it here, or if you want to hide it, you can directly hide this. If you want to just show this, if you want to show it or hide it or remove it, you can directly do it from here. And that's it. Do the page up again, and your settings are loaded. Just play page up. Also, you can remove the logo section also, but it's done by the config section. Now you can see it's done. Worry about the model. If you change the range, it will show directly up here. Thanks for watching. I am clear. See you in the next video. A big thanks to our partner, Wayas Scripts and Zero Resmon, of providing this opportunity.